Hello viewers, welcome to GTTV News. I'm your presenter, Salif Wanja. We're starting with the headlines tonight. President Barrow says COVID-19 causes negative impact on employment and job. Hello viewers, welcome to GTTV News. I'm your presenter, Salif Wanja. We're starting with the headlines tonight. President Barrow says COVID-19 causes negative impact on employment and job. The Gambia gets one fresh COVID-19 case. The government of the Gambia eases restriction as most and charges are to be reopened. Janet Commission cannot be enforced or executed. Planned protests in the Gambia against U.S. police killing postponed. President Barrow says COVID-19 causes negative impact on employment and job. He was speaking during the fourth virtual extraordinary intersessional summit of heads of state and government of the Organization of African, Caribbean and Pacific States, OACPS, on the theme, Transcending the COVID-19 Pandemic, Building Resilience Through Global Solidarity. President Barrow said the pandemic has impacted severely both the formal and informal sectors of our economy. He added that the need to pay due attention to both sectors is urgent, noting that our informal sector contributes crucially towards sustaining livelihoods and GDP. The Gambia gets one fresh COVID-19 case. The Gambia has registered one more case of COVID-19. Dr. Mustafa Bitte, the Director of Health Services, announced yesterday. The patient is a Gambian military personnel, aged 53, and has returned from Freetown on 30th May 2020. Since 17 March to date, the Gambia has so far registered 26 cases of COVID-19 with one death in Bangladeshi. At least 21 people have recovered from the disease, remaining only four active cases. The Gambia government is its restriction as churches and must reopen. The Gambia government spokesman last night announced that some of the emergency restrictions imposed in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic will be eased from today. Ibrahim Sankari told the state broadcaster last night that effective tomorrow, markets are open to all traders, not just for sellers of essential items from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. He also announced that from tomorrow, Friday almost will be reopened for congregational prayers with churches following suit on Sunday. In other development, schools will be open for grade 9 and grade 12 by next week. Giant Commission report cannot be enforced or executed. A three joint panel Gambia Court of Appeal has ruled that the recommendations of commissions of inquiry like that of Janet Commission and others in the resultant government, white people, cannot make impossible judicial orders that are capable of execution. The making of such orders are the sole preserve of the cause. The judges agreed unanimously. A protest march initially slated from Monday against the US police killings of blacks has been postponed in the Gambia. Following the killing of George Floyd and the subsequent shooting of Gambian born Mahmoud Lan Sisi, governments had planned to demonstrate in front of the US Embassy in Banjul to express their dissatisfaction in the killings and the centuries old racial discrimination against blacks in America. However, according to Manny Jawati, one of the organizers of the protest, having applied for police permit to hold the procession, the IGB raised the issue of ongoing restriction and public guidance as a measure to curb the spread of the COVID 19 pandemic. Mali posted on Facebook, quoting, We had a meeting with the IGP this afternoon and he referred to the ongoing state of emergency which imposes restriction on public guidance. He noted that he would be unjustified to allow this protest to go ahead when schools, churches, and mosques are closed and even some imams and other individuals are arrested for leaving public guidance. The IGP, however, assured us that he will grant a permit once these emergency regulations are relaxed. It is expected that by June 8th, the state of emergency will end. Even if it is extended, the expectation is that the restrictions will be relaxed. As law abiding citizens, we accept that these reasons and urge him to ensure that our right to freedom of assembly is respected. Operators of drug law enforcement agency, the Gambia League, have arrested one Ahadi Bello, a native of Farafene, with what is suspected to be a human skull, together with some skeletons and some bottles of suspected cannabis. The point has been gladly informed. The suspect, commonly known as Al Hadi Tamba, was arrested last Friday, 29th, May 2020, by narcotic officers. He has now been granted bail as investigations into the matter continues. A source who is familiar with the matter and spoke to the Point newspaper reporter on conditions of anonymity confirmed the development. 
the source are the operating source of drug law enforcement agency of the Ghana Liberated Minister Pedro's compound and discovered two bags containing some quantity of suspected cannabis and what was suspected to be human skull together with skeletons. The suspect was subsequently arrested and taken into custody for questioning. Gambia to the U.S. to investigate the death of Mamoudou Lam Sisi. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Cooperation, and Gambia's abroad of the Republic of the Gambia has learned with regret the unfortunate incident in Atlanta, Georgia, in the United States of America. That resulted in the death of Mr. Mumudulam Sisi, a 39 year old Gambian, on Friday, 29 May 2020. The Ministry of the Foreign Affairs wishes to extend its deepest condolences to the bereaved family and pray that the Almighty Allah grant them the opportunity to bear these irreparable laws and for the granted liberty to a place in general to the house. The Gambia government to carry out more demolition. The Minister of Lands is planning to continue with the demolition of properties it said are built on illegally appropriated land. Speaking at a press conference yesterday, Permanent Secretary Buba Sanyam disclosed the PS was quoted as saying, we are planning to embark on another massive demolition in areas where lands allocated to people by the government are annexed by people who have decided to build structures on them. This will come as a second phase demolition to be carried out to enable those people to acquire their lands. Government will not allow people to annex these spaces. We'll be going for a short commercial break. We'll be back. We'll bring news across all of us. Stay tuned. In Tuba, a youth mob confronted security forces in which they want an ambulance and a government office in Tiwa, a little city, and Tamba. The eastern part of Senegal as violent troubles were noted. Meanwhile, yesterday the Senegal's Ministry of Health recorded 96 positive cases of COVID-19, which brings the country's total infection to 3,932, with 73% of being from Dakar. 2,063 recovered, 45 deaths, and 1,823 under the treatment, including 13 in severe conditions. That brings us to the end of the news. Now the recap. President Barrow says COVID-19 causes negative impact on employment and job. The Gambia gets one fresh COVID-19 case. The government of the Gambia is in restriction as most uncharted uh, to real account. Janet Commission cannot be enforced or executed. Planned protests in the Gambia against US police killing postponed. Thank you viewers.